M0 FXP Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the K Sun, which comes preloaded with Zello. Let's change it so we can use other apps like Peanut and Zello and even add a browser and Play Store. Now, I'm not saying I recommend this, but I've been taught some steps here by Derek G5 MAP. So we're going to give it a go. We have done it once and it worked fine. So I've factory, I have factory reset the device, which you can see on the left there. And we're going to start from scratch. And the first step of this is to add a program on the device called, I'm just going to minimize this here a second, Nova Launcher. And you do need version 6.2.19 that I've got here for, for this to work. Nova Launcher allows us to select a different system, Android system, that it will boot up to. Because at the moment, it launches to what they have called Nova, Nova Launcher 3, and it just will show your settings and Zello and nothing else. And even the settings cog is very, very limited. So we're gonna install and launch Nova Launcher, which gives us many more options, including adding APKs and launching APKs on the desktop of the k -Sun. So this is just step one of installing the Nova Launcher. The download, total control. Visor gives gives you a very similar feature of controlling and mirroring the screen and a nicer screen, but total control allows easy transfer of APKs. I find that Visor keeps failing on that, but total control doesn't. And that's we want to put an APK on here called Nova Launcher. So by default, your k -Sun will connect to your PC and will connect to Total Control. We've already done it here. So once you download from this section here, download Total Control, and you want the version for, for Windows, just click it and then just download the Windows version. It will open up like this. And then what you'll do is you'll see this window here and you'll click Connect. If it doesn't do it first time, just get the USB cable and connect it and disconnect it a few times. So we're now connected to the k -Sun. We can now download the APK. So if you look at the, the Nova Launcher site, now there's a lot of adverts, but you need to just find the correct one. Keep going down and you want the one, as I said at the top, 6.2.19. There it is there. I'll put a direct link in the description. So we've had to click it again, then go down. It's quite annoying that it makes you do this. But you're always looking for that, that same 6.1. There it is there again, again. Until you eventually see it show up here. And be careful not to just download the adverts. It could be that one there, I think. So we'll click it, close the advert. And then we'll check in our downloads that it's got that number that we're looking for. Look there, com.telescoilswlauncher. And it is the right one, look. Okay, that's the one we want. So what we're gonna do now, leave that there for now and right click and go show in folder. And it's there and we did it earlier as well. See the way it's got the number 6.2.19. So leave it there. Then go back to your mirror, let's call it, of your radio, of your caisson, and drag it, and I, this is brand new because I factory reset the device. Drag it onto the screen, and you want it to do this. If you see it installing that, you know that um, you're in business. So we're gonna call this the caisson um, APK modification part one video. Thanks for watching so far. And let's just go, if you want to go back, just go escape. And there's our, our screen as it is at the moment. Bye for now.